Hi everyone, this is Sandy Martins Toner with Jeunesse Global and I'm here today to show everyone how they can easily uh, create a link that can be stored and saved on their device or their computer um, so that you can upload a video that's not attached to other people's pages and links. What's happening is that people are just uh, sharing videos directly from other people's pages and unfortunately Fortunately, when you do this, their page and link information and all the information, the message and everything that they have uh, included with their video uh, continues to be attached to the video that you've now shared. Um, the reason this isn't a good idea is that that video um, has a link and that, that blue hyperlink that you see with that person's information on it could potentially lose your um, prospective lead or client. Client, uh, should they be looking to contact somebody um, in regards to your products or becoming a member so this is a great way to be able to upload videos onto your pages um, with no attachment so what I would call a clean link <clears throat> excuse me so here I am on uh, Becky Hurley's Look Great with Becky Facebook page. She's always got lots of great content and videos. So say you're on Becky's page and you're like, okay, yeah, this is all great. Oh, great info. Oh, here's Becky's video. And oh my goodness, she's at 7 million um, views. Becky's video is a great tool for you guys to use uh, to peak interest. Um, but of course, if you tried to just click share underneath Becky's video here, everything that Becky's got attached to her video is going to show up on your Facebook page. So how you can do this, let's just pause it from playing here. How you can grab the uh, a clean link uh, off of Becky's video is very, very simple. So here we go. Step one, you're going to come up here to the hyperlink, okay? Where it says video, you want to click on video. This is going to open up the video in a different theater page or browser, okay? Once the video shows up here, and of course it's a little bit slow because I'm recording this, once Becky's video shows up here, what you want to do is come up to the browser here, place your cursor after the three W's, so after the triple W, and the dot. So there you go, you see the cursor flashing. You're going to delete the three W's, and you're going to replace the three W's with an M. M as in mother. Okay? And you can just pause the video from playing. And of course, it's all slowing it down. One second. I'm just going to pause Becky's video. You don't have to play it while you're doing this. You can just pause it. And that's just going to take a second here so I can get, there we go. So we'll just pause Becky's video. Once you've got the M here, place your cursor at the end and just hit enter. What this is going to do is it's going to open up Becky's video in a, another browser. And it looks kind of funny. Sometimes it'll be stretched right out and sometimes it'll look um, huge on your page. As you can see, it sort of gives that um, almost landscape look. So once this opens up here, what you're going to do is you're just going to click play. Get Becky's video to play for just a few seconds. Okay. And you're going to write, I'm just going to pause this, just play it for a few seconds. You're going to come over to the image of Becky or the image of the video. You're going to right click your mouse. A box will open up and you want to come down to here and save video as. So go ahead and click on that. I like to save my videos in a folder on my desktop. <clears throat> I have a bunch of folders here. Here are some of the other ones that I have made. So what you're going to do is you're just going to name it so you can delete this. And I'm going to call this 
Becky Hurley's um, seven mil video. All right, and then you're just, it's gonna save as an MP4 file. That's great, that's exactly what you want. I've got it set to save and store this on my desktop so I can easily find it. And I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Okay, so now that video is saved on my desktop and I can show you that it's there. So you're just gonna minimize this. And as you can see, there it is right there on my desktop. And now I'm gonna show you how to go, so just go back to your Facebook page. I'm just gonna click Facebook. And then I'm going to show you how to upload it onto your pages. Once my page loads here, you can load it onto your Facebook business page or your um, or your um, personal profile. It's really up to you. So once it loads here again, I'm sorry about the lag. You're just going to go to your status box here, where you would um, you know post. So I'm just going to write something like, hey everyone, you want whatever you're writing to be very, very engaging um, with your audience. So it's really important that you engage people um, to come and watch these videos. Don't just post the video with no text or anything. Always try and engage people in, um, in your video and in, in, in you know in a conversation perhaps they'll start leaving you comments if if it's very engaging again I'm so sorry about the lag so what you would do is post you know something really you know engaging in this part you would click add photos and video once you click the add photos and video it's gonna open up a little um, box let's go ahead and do that so add photo and video, and again, it's still lagging, I'm sorry. We will get through this. It's trying to load all this other stuff over here still. So it takes up a lot of, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead, add photos, video. Hopefully this will open up for me. There we go. You're gonna go to your desktop. I'm at my desktop now. And I'm going to find Becky's video. So here it is. So I'm just going to click on that once, go to open, and it's going to begin to upload into here. It's a little slow, so while it's busy doing that, there we go. There's the video. So hey everyone, check this out. All right, and you would just click post and then and it would show up on your wall. The other thing that's different on your, um, you know, when you're uploading these videos on, say, your business pages, you can add call a, a call to action button, whether it be sign up or order. So I want to quickly show you how to do that because I think it's really important. Most of you will probably be posting these links onto your business pages. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this page because I'm done with that now. And again, I'm sorry if this takes a few seconds to load. There we go. It seems to be moving a little bit faster. So when you upload these videos onto your uh, business pages, again, you definitely want to, um, you know, place something very engaging in your comments or status um, box section. You're going to, again, do the exact same thing. You're just going to click on photo video and then it's going to allow you to upload that video from your desktop, upload photos and videos. Okay, again, here it is on my desktop, Becky Hurley 7 mil video, open. And it's going to start to load. And the difference with your business page, 
Do you see this here where it says add call to action? This is very, very important because this is going to place a link on that video for those people watching it to be able to purchase the product or sign up. So once you click on custom call to action, it's going to say here, um, have a little drop down, which one do you want to use? So I'm going to use shop now. And I'm going to write something here like, um, let's see, what can I write? Uh, hey, everyone, find out how you can buy. Oops, it helps if you spell it properly. A box of IA. I know that's silly, but uh, I just want to sort of give you an idea. I've got the shop now. So here is where you're going to enter your Jeunesse Global's main site URL to that box of Instantly Ageless. So you can either just go ahead and put in your, you know, your main site URL, but what I think is better is if you go to your Jeunesse Global page and you're going to click on Come on. You're going to click on the products tab and go directly to the instantly ageless and grab the URL that comes from that. That will take the client directly to the link in or that, that they need to order the product. Okay. Um, that sometimes makes things a little bit easier. There we go. So I'm going to click products, go to instantly ageless. It's going to bring up my instantly ageless link. You're just going to copy and paste that. Okay. Click copy, close this up so it doesn't slow us down anymore. You're going to enter that URL right here because it's going to show up on your video at the very end. Hit enter, okay, because when you do that, it, um, you can put a link description here. I don't because they just go to the page and click post. Okay. And as you can see, it's loading. It doesn't take very long. Um, once it's loaded, it's going to tell you that it just needs a few minutes um, to load. And you can just go ahead and close this unless you need to do some edits, but you probably won't have to. And soon you'll get a notification letting you know, there you go, your video uh, upload is complete. You can now view and edit your video in the videos tab. So if you want to make any edits, this is the time to do so. You can also at this point choose a thumbnail for that video to start with. Otherwise, you are completely done. You have a clean link. You can now share it from your your Facebook page. Here's one of my videos that I posted. You can share your videos now directly from your Facebook business page onto any other pages and it is only linked back to you. Okay, so share it on your timeline, share it in a group. It's always linked back to you with no, nothing attached to anyone else. I hope this video has helped you guys and um, have a great day everyone. Bye.